We are coming together for two weeks and making wonderful music. I couldn't think of a better place than Lake George, just with the mountains, the lake, it's the sense of nature, and it's so easy to make music here. Last year, I decided that I wanted to create a series that combined a genre that is not classical with symphonic music, making the concert experience less stuffy and more accessible to our audiences, but also to people who may not know much about classical music. Sounds of Our Time features a non-classical group, in this case Balloon, which is a four-member group from Brooklyn via San Juan. It is indie and electronic combined. The minute I heard their music, I said this would work so well with a full symphony orchestra. Let's bring them to Lake George because I think our audience would love it, our musicians would love it, and it would make for a great collaboration. And Angelica has a background in classical composition. Having the chance to play with Balloon and an orchestra behind us, it's two worlds that have been really important in my development as a musician, but have never really come together. So it's a really, really special moment. We're also going to do a performance of Paul Dooley's groundbreaking percussion concerto, Northern Nights. Northern Nights came about uh, as a collaboration between me and the percussion soloist, Lisa Pegger. Paul's piece is really an exciting, fun piece. There's a lot of electronic elements, but there's also a lot for the orchestra to do. We're taking beats, we're taking acoustic percussion, and then combining it with drum pads and MIDI and different sample sounds. It's been a dream come true working with the Lake George Festival Orchestra. They are incredibly well prepared. They understand what I'm trying to do and that really informs their playing. We had our first rehearsal with the orchestra today and it was amazing just to listen to like this augmented version of the songs. Roger is an amazing conductor. He's into the music and the arrangements. The musicians talk about the arrangements and they're excited about playing with the band. And Helica did a wonderful job of arranging these so that the orchestra is a big part of the texture. I didn't want the orchestra to feel like their accompaniment. I didn't want them to feel like their background music. This is a real collaboration. For me, it's particularly special because of the role I have with Balloon playing Puerto Rican folk instruments and Puerto Rican folk music. It's really a great opportunity to showcase these folk instruments in this context. It feels like we're all in a band now, you know? Yeah, it's this huge balloon band, yeah. yeah. We're exposing our music to new audiences and also hopefully people that are into balloon and that hear this with the orchestra will also be exposed to the orchestral world. We're bringing in new audiences. We're collaborating with non-classical genres. This is a living, breathing art form that is so alive.